we welcome you to the 2024 Outstanding Educator Salute and Celebration hosted by Ask For More Jackson and the Community Foundation for Mississippi. These teachers were nominated by their principals. They are talented and empowered individuals who demonstrate a high commitment to student achievement. Not only do they have high expectations for their scholars, they have shown high expectations for themselves. As teachers, they have the great privilege and responsibility to impact scholars' lives, giving them reasons to push forward and motivating them to want to succeed in life. You open their minds and you touch their hearts every day. And for this, we thank you. With support from the Community Foundation of Mississippi, we celebrate you, outstanding educators, for all you do. You truly, truly make a difference. To our educators, your commitment to nurturing the minds of our students is nothing short of inspiring. And today, we honor you for the incredible impact you've made in the lives of our children. To our distinguished guests, family, and to our friends, we thank you for joining us on this very special occasion. Our work um, with JPS really intersects in, in several different ways. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, we're a Kellogg funding partner uh, that started back with the Better Together Commission on the improvements for, to Jackson Public Schools as a system. And we also partner with the Junior League of Jackson on teacher mini grants that I think some of y'all have probably received if you're sitting in this room. Um, we always think about uh, philanthropy as being something that only rich people do, but a community foundation exists to um, get donors of any size, shape, whatever, who wanna do good things to support their communities, we give them a way to do that. This particular award uh, was set up by um, a family at the Community Foundation, they've uh, requested to remain anonymous, but they set up an endowment fund um, that basically creates the funding pool for the cash awards that those of you who are being recognized today will receive. The caveat that the donor put on the award was the teacher can only use it for something he or she wants, not something for your students or your classroom. So be thinking about what you're gonna do with that money. We've had everything from somebody help furnish her nursery, to somebody help pay for her honeymoon, and somebody just took a girl's trip. Um, it gives our donors great pleasure to know that recognizing the individual effort of teachers is critically important. As having been with the district on this journey since 2016 and the Better Together Commission, congratulations on being a really good district and raising that score and y'all own that. We are so excited about you know this rating and the fact that we've come so far in such a short period of time and it's only because of the efforts of the people in this room and people like you. So thank you. Today we celebrate not just the achievements of 10 outstanding educators, uh, but the essence I think of what it means to be a teacher in Jackson Public Schools. These educators embody the very best of what our district stands for, our six core values, excellence, equity, growth mindset, relationships, a positive and respectful culture, and relevance. And through their work, they demonstrate how these values come to life in their classrooms, in their relationships with our scholars, and in their commitment to their craft. And how many know that teaching really is a craft? It's seen in the extra time spent crafting lesson plans and finding new ways to engage their scholars and in ensuring that each child has the tools that they need to succeed. Ms. Tamika Battle of Callaway High School integrates technology and creative strategies working to enhance scholars' critical thinking and problem-solving skills. And what's more, Ms. Battle has implemented Callaway's first ACT 21 Plus Club which is aimed at helping our scholars achieve their highest scores on the ACT. I think about Ms. Tora Jones of Walton Elementary. She individualizes instruction so that her pre-kindergarten scholars get the support that they need to master new skills. And her data bears the fruit of this commitment to equity. They encourage students to take risk, to embrace challenges, and they see failure as a step forward towards success. They too are learners, constantly seeking ways to improve their teaching, 
reflect on their practice, and push themselves to grow professionally. Ms. Jacqueline Bell of Johnson Elementary cares so deeply about each of her scholars that that love extends to their parents and families. She's an educator that builds such strong relationships with her scholars that when she had to be out of school for an unplanned absence, she mapped out all the learning materials and considered everything that she and that the families would need in her absence. Now that's love. In every interaction, they model respect and compassion and kindness. They build cultures of joy, knowing that a positive school culture is the bedrock of academic success. These educators know that for students to engage deeply, learning must connect to their own lives, to their communities, and to the world around them. These are classrooms that build a sense of love and appreciation for their home of Jackson, Mississippi. Ms. Katrina Jones, who serves as an instructional coach for Elementary Network 2. If you've had the pleasure to see Ms. Jones in action, she is always willing to help. And she's the kind of coach that won't simply tell you what to do, she will show you how. She has incredible content knowledge of our curriculum of English language arts, and she leverages her positive relationships with her teachers to make meaningful connections to the wit and wisdom content that make it real for our scholars. And so today, we celebrate the 10 educators who embody these six values in all that they do. You're the heart of our district, and your work makes a profound difference. You inspire not only your students, but all of us who are privileged to witness your passion and dedication. These are the classrooms that, as deputy superintendent, that I spend time in, and I don't want to, to leave. They're the kinds of classrooms that make you proud to be a JPS educator. And we are so proud of all of you. Thank you. Again, we thank to the Community Foundation for Mississippi and the anonymous donor for the opportunity to present these awards today. Katrina Jones, an ELA instructional coach at the Elementary Network 2, where Dion Woody is the assistant superintendent. Ms. Jones has 17 years of experience. She received her specialist degree in education and a master's degree in education. She is a member of the Junior League of Jackson and the JPS Teacher Mentor for Network 2. She's a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Ms. Woody says Ms. Jones is always willing to go above and beyond the call of duty for the good of her schools. I have had the honor of serving here in Jackson Public Schools as a K-5 teacher, interventionist, literacy coach, and an instructional coach. As educators, our jobs are hard, but we have to keep the main thing, the main thing. <laughs> Serving the students of Jackson Public Schools is something I have invested in. Not only do I work for Jackson Public Schools, but I am also a proud parent of Jackson Public Schools. So when I say I'm invested, I'm invested. To Dr. Green, Dr. Cormack, Thank you for leading Jackson Public Schools to success and laying the foundation and for allowing us to coach and teach. Because in your words, everybody needs a coach. <laughs> to Network 2, Mrs. Woody, who couldn't be here today, the academic coaches, our um, amazing principals and assistant principals, thank you for your unwavering support and dedication for Network 2. To my family, my dad, who couldn't be here, my mom, thank you for laying the foundation. As a child, I watched you show up for all four of your children while showing up for your 22 plus students for over 20 plus years of education. To my husband, Spencer, thank you for pushing me to advance in my career, for helping me stay up late at night when I'm planning for PDs, PLCs, and even teaching right now. You never complain, even when I text you at the last minute and I say, pick up your kids, because I have a minute. <laughs> and to all the outstanding educators that are being recognized today, thank you. Thank yourselves. Because of you, the scholars of Jackson Public Schools are given access to rigorous lessons and given an opportunity to succeed regardless of their zip code. Our next honoree, is Ms. Tamika Battle, a 12th grade college and career readiness and a 10th grade learning strategy at Callaway High School. <laughs> Ms. 
Battle has eight years experience in education. She has an Associate of Arts in General Education, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, and Masters of Arts in Teaching. She just received Teacher of the Month in January of this year. She's passionate about integrating innovative teaching methods to prepare scholars for their future by creating a joyful and inclusive learning environment is at the heart of her teaching practices. Ms. McClune says Ms. Battle is an extraordinary educator and feels confident that her contributions to education will continue to inspire and impact the lives of her scholars for years to come. I stand here today a proud product of Jackson Public Schools from Bradley Elementary, from Northwest Junior High, and the class of 1995 of Provine High School. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to God for guiding me through this incredible journey as an educator. I want to take this moment to express my heartfelt thanks to Dr. Shamika McClung. Your unwavering support and dedication to our scholars have created an environment where the scholars, the teachers, and the staff can thrive. I also want to take the time to thank my parents, especially my mother. Your unwavering support and love have shaped who I am today, instilling in me the values of hard work and dedication. Education is not just a profession, it's a passion. A calling to make a difference. Over the last eight years in the Jackson Public School District, I have committed myself to fostering a joyful and supportive learning environment. As a college and career readiness teacher, I strive to build relationships with each scholar, encouraging them to express their thoughts and pursue their dreams. And this journey doesn't end with graduation. I cherish the connections I maintain with my seniors. I support them as they navigate their path beyond high school. I go to college basketball games, football games, baptisms, <laughs> helping them with their college assignments, finding them jobs, or just being a listening ear. I don't do this alone. I'm grateful to work alongside dedicated colleagues at Callaway High School and a supportive administration team. I dedicate this award to all the incredible individuals who supported me along the way. Dr. McClung, my mother Callie, who's here today, my children, Tyler, who's also an educator, but in Dallas, Texas, Jordan and Macy, and my best friend, Anitra, who's here with me today. May we all continue to foster a love of learning that extend beyond the classroom, guiding our scholars towards success in their academic and personal journeys. It's a great day to be a Callaway Charger. <laughs> our next honoree is Ms. Taylor Gabrielle Hyde. <laughs> An English language learner teacher at Pecan Park Elementary School where Ms. Dina Owens is her principal. Ms. Hyde has six years of experience in education. She received a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education at Mississippi College, a Master of Arts degree in English language learning at Western Governors University. Ms. Hyde says her philosophy of education is rooted in creating a supportive, inclusive, and engaging environment for English language learners. She's committed to creating a learning environment where every student feels valued and empowered to achieve their full potential. Her journey as an educator is driven by her deep passion for serving her ELL community. And she looks forward to a fulfilling career of advocating for her students, collaborating with her colleagues, and continuing to grow as an educator. She says she recognizes how fortunate she is to love her job and community, and how thankful she is every day for the opportunity to be a part of her students and their families' lives. Ms. Owen says she is completely convinced that Ms. Hyde is one of the most outstanding, hardest working, and devoted teachers she has ever had the pleasure of knowing. First and foremost, I would like to say all glory be to God. I pray that he continues to be the forefront and focus of all that I do. And as I stand here, I know that I represent uh, the English learning population in Jackson Public Schools. And it is an honor and a blessing 
to work with these babies, and I know if any of you have any opportunity to work with English learners, you know, they, your heart expands distances you didn't know it could go. They are the most incredible things, and I love them. I'm so grateful for this job. Thank you, Ask for More Jackson, and the Community Foundation of Mississippi for awarding me with Outstanding Educator Award. It is an honor to have been nominated by my Become Park admin staff, Mrs. Owens, Mrs. Davis, and Mrs. Wilcher. I also want to thank my previous admin staff, Ms. Wanda Kwan, who saw the potential in me as a student teacher at Mississippi College um, and hired me as an EL teacher afterward. I'd also like to thank my mentor teacher, Ms. Shalonda Stewart, and my coworker and close friend, Ms. Charlotte Alford Starks, for supporting me and always giving me the encouragement that I need to go forward. I would not be as passionate about this career if it were not for my wonderful EL students and their families. Being their maestra is a title that I wake up every single morning grateful for. I also would like to acknowledge the support of my parents, Russ and Sherry Hyde, um, through college, through studying in Spain, and working here in Jackson, which is not Birmingham, Alabama, they make me very aware of. Um, <laughs> but they still support me, and they consistently ask me if there's things they can do for my classroom, for my students, and they are the most incredible people. I would like to thank uh, my boyfriend for all the love and the laughter that he shows me and everything that he does for me, uh, the all-nighters, the cutting out different laminated materials, you know, putting up with all my crazy stories. Um, I wouldn't be able to do this without him. Um, I would also like to acknowledge the encouragement of my chosen family here in Jackson, Mississippi. I've created such a wonderful community with so many different people who I consider blood to me and so I'm very grateful for them as well. I would like to dedicate it to the educators who have most inspired me. Dr. Vernon Clyde and Vashti Muse, my grandfather, a math teacher, Richard Hyde, my godmother, Gigi Marilyn Gossman, and my lovely Nana Marsha Clark. And thank you so much for this honor. Our next honoree is Ms. Diane Smith, a fifth grade science teacher and an interventionist at Wells APAC, where Ms. Kesher Love Ranking is the principal. Dr. Smith has 35 years experience in education, 35. She received an associate of science degree in 1986, bachelor of science degree in 1989, a master of education degree in 1990, and her doctoral degree in 2013. Dr. Smith says creating a classroom conducive to learning helps to develop students academically, socially, emotionally, and physically. She believes in providing students with the autonomy to discover and learn on their own with her acting as the facilitator of their learning. Ms. Rankin says she is a phenomenal educator who has served scholars intentionally and excellently. Her passion for teaching and learning is infectious. Ms. Rankins also says that Dr. Smith's skills and knowledge far exceed most. She believes that allowing students to have a voice in their learning journey not only empowers them, but also fosters a sense of ownership and accountability. Receiving the Outstanding Educator Award is an extremely humbling experience for me in that it forces me to recenter myself as it relates to my philosophy of education, teaching, and learning. I would like to thank Acts for More Jackson and the Community Foundation for Mississippi for all the planning and coordinating efforts that it took to put uh, this celebration together. In addition, I would like to acknowledge and thank my husband, Mark Harris. He helps me a lot in the classroom. He decorates, he put together the complicated science lab items, and he helps me grade papers. I would like to thank my daughter, Mary Catherine, for her divine wisdom and listening ear. I would like to thank my principal, Dr. Rankin, and Dr. McInnes for their unwavering support of putting up with me calling at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning because I want to share my ideas with them. They always ask, how can I help you? Is it anything that you need? I love that. Also, I would like to thank and acknowledge my superintendent, Dr. Green, as well as Deputy Superintendent, 
Dr. Mc, uh, Dr. Cormack, for being behind, standing behind the scene and providing support in your words of encouragement. And to my colleagues, recipients of the award, I would like to say congratulations on a job well done. It is great to be seen. My hope and goals are that my students feel seen in my classroom daily. I want them to know that I see you and I want to help you get to where you're going in life. And finally, I dedicate this award to my mother who turned 89 years old this past October 1st. She looked at me when I was five years old and she said, you're going to college. You're going to be a teacher. Thank you. I dedicate this award to my mom. Our next honoree is Ms. Sophia Sykes, a kindergarten teacher at Span Elementary School. Ms. Lori Torrey is her principal. Ms. Sykes has 17 years of experience. She received a bachelor's degree in elementary education from the Jackson State University, a master's degree in reading, and a specialist degree in reading, all from the Jackson State University. Ms. Sykes also volunteers at the Boys and Girls Club of Central Mississippi. Ms. Sykes view innovative teaching as the cornerstone of an effective education. This involves remaining open to new approaches that keep students engaged while instilling in them the courage and confidence to take charge of their own learning. Mrs. Torrey says that not only does Ms. Sykes instill a love of learning in their children, but she also ensures the academic success by setting high expectations for all students. She also says that Ms. Sykes' impact extends far beyond the classroom, influencing not only her students, but also their families and the broader community. One of Ms. Sykes' students says she's the best teacher in the whole world. I am, as she said, a 17-year veteran of Jackson Public Schools, Span Elementary, and which, as which I've had taught all 17 years in kindergarten. I would like to begin by thanking Ax for more Jackson and the Community Foundation from Mississippi for selecting me as one of the winners for this prestigious award. I would like to thank my administrators for the nomination and the opportunity to represent Span Elementary School in this capacity. Thank you, Ms. Torrey, for always being available to lend a listening ear and to share your expert advice when needed. And most importantly, thanks for always having my back. I would like to thank my assistant principal, Ms. Barnes, for her creative expertise whenever I needed help brainstorming creative ways to bring my classroom instruction to life. Thank you both for making SPAN a warm, professional, and curriculum-rich environment for both your teachers and students to thrive in. Your efforts do not go unnoticed. Thank you to my children, Jalen and Jordan, for their childhood sacrifices. While I went back to school to pursue my lifelong dream of becoming an educator while having to work full time to support them. This acknowledgement was a very unexpected one as I just show up each day to work to do what I love to do best. This award means so much to me and it will be cherished for years to come as I continue to work hard and strive to make my family, administrators, and community proud. And our next honoree is Ms. Monique Mapp, a fourth grade teacher at Shirley Elementary where Ms. Kimberly Hewlett Griggs is the principal. Ms. Mapp has a master's degree in elementary education. Ms. Mapp says education should not merely be a transaction of knowledge, but rather an engaging experience that propels students to become lifelong learners. She strives to instill in her students the confidence to embrace challenges, think beyond conventional boundaries, and explore creative solutions. She inspires her students to take ownership of their learning journeys. Her principal, Ms. Griggs, says that Ms. Mapp is one of the most outstanding educators she has encountered in her 23 years in this career. She repeatedly stepped outside of her comfort zone to provide instructions at different levels and in various content areas. One of the most impressive aspects of Ms. Mapp approach is her ability to build positive relationships with students, parents, families, and staff. Teaching, it's a sacred profession. Teaching requires reciprocity. Teaching is also one of those professions that makes us the most vulnerable. Um, because in order to really provide that reciprocity, we have to bear part of our souls each day to our students. And I'm so thankful 
for all of my students who I've taught over the years and been able to pour into who've also helped me to grow. Everybody knows that we become educators for the fame and the fortune, yeah. right? That's it. That's uh, it. But Dr. Green, our superintendent and my principal constantly reminds us that teaching is heart work. It requires a little sacrifice and it requires a little passion um, and a little drive. There are days where the spark of excitement just ignites in our classroom. And then there are days where it seems like the spark in our students' homework is all left at home, right? <laughs> but we push on in spite of. It is our job as educators to ignite that spark and provide that flame. We lay the foundation and create that love of learning that will follow our students for the rest of their existence. That's a job that we have to take seriously. That means taking my own fire and spreading it around to each of my students. And you would think after doing that for so long that my fire would burn out, but no. <laughs> I have a wonderful community that waves and fans my flames and keeps me motivated and keeps me going. My life partner, Randall, he listens intently as I pour out all of my dreams and aspirations for my students, as I talk about my room transformations and the engaging lessons that I want to plan. And he responds with, let's do it. What do you need? And then my sister, Monet, who stands in those gaps and helps to fill my cup when sometimes preparation takes me away from my own family for hours. And all she says is, sister, I got you. And then there's the coaches and the principals that help me and, and require me to walk in excellence. My own principal, she resonates life and love. And when I'm around her, all fear and doubt that I have, it dissipates. That's support. And for that, I am thankful. For Ask for More Jackson and the Community Foundations for Mississippi, I say thank you for acknowledging teachers, for seeing us and seeing our sacrifice that we make. I don't take it lightly. Guys, I give my students my absolute best every day because I, in turn, require their best every day. I am thankful. I thank God and I thank you for seeing me. Thank you. Our next honoree is Ms. Shanika Adams. It's the Exceptional Education Exclusion Teacher at Key Elementary School. Ms. Elena Tate is the principal. Before transitioning to the ed Exceptional Education Exclusion Teacher, Ms. Adams was a teacher, interventionist, and library media specialist. Ms. Adams has 28 years of experience. She has a Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education from Tugela College, a Master of Science in Education Administration, and Supervision from the Jackson State University. She's also a National Board Certified Teacher. Ms. Adams aspires to create student-centered learning environments in which the student is in the driving seat of their own learning. Ms. Adams believes you are called to this profession, and she must pay it forward to the veteran teachers who trained and molded her 28 years ago. Ms. Tate says that one of Ms. Adams' remarkable qualities is her mentorship. She says Ms. Adams embodies the qualities and characteristics that this prestigious award seeks to recognize. Her dedication to student success is unwavering, and her commitment to excellence inspires others to strive for the same standard. I would just like to give a sincere thanks to the Ask for More Jackson staff and Community Foundation. I'm grateful for my awesome administrator, Mrs. Elena Tate, for nominating me and believing in me when I sometimes don't believe in myself. She exemplifies the true definition of leadership. And this award would not have been possible without the support of my family, my colleagues, and my friends. In 1997, I received a phone call for a job interview to teach fourth grade in JPS. And when I arrived, I was greeted by the principal and the lead teacher for the fourth grade team. And the principal allowed the teacher to ask me a few questions, and I was thinking, who's the principal? 
She asks, which discipline model will I be implementing if I were to get this position? I could not think of one. <laughs> so I left the interview thinking to myself, well, I certainly won't be getting that job. <laughs> However, I received a call from the principal informing me that I was hired. I was elated. The teacher from the interview name is Ms. Vera Powell. She is my long-term mentor and friend. Wave your hand, Ms. Powell. <laughs> the wisdom and expertise that she poured into me have molded me and to the educator I am today, and for that I am grateful. I marveled at how she would sit students at her feet and read to them with such expression and passion. My pedagogy evolved because of her. And as educators, we have a shared responsibility to pay it forward and guide novice teachers. I can only hope that I've impacted a teacher like Ms. Powell has impacted me. And that's why I am grateful for this award. And I want to dedicate it to my mentor and my friend, Ms. Vera Nini Powell. Thank you. Our next honoree is Ms. Tora Jones, a pre-K teacher at Walton Elementary School. <laughs> Mr. Leroy Merrick is the principal. She has a Bachelor of Science degree in Child and Family Studies and a Master's of Science degree in Early Childhood Education. Ms. Jones has 18 years of experience in education. She is a volunteer with the Boys and Girls Club and a youth Sunday school teacher. As an early childhood educator, her philosophy of education is anchored on the belief that teaching is much more than the community of knowledge to a child. Ms. Jones says that joy is a critical element of an effective teaching learning process. She feels that joyful learning is a result of children being afforded the opportunity to feel safe, to inquire, ask questions, and explore. She would like to foster individuals and build a growth mindset while ensuring children love learning throughout their lives. Mr. Merrick says Ms. Jones is a model educator and demonstrates outstanding leadership skills. She is an ambitious individual with very innovative ideas and communicates them in an effective and motivational way and has excellent commitment to everything she does. I want to thank X for More Arts and the Community Foundation from Mississippi. I am happy to represent Walton Elementary where we are 3200 Bailey Avenue, the address of excellence. I am grateful to be a pre-K teacher. I love it. I love going to my job every day. I am fortunate to work with amazing colleagues and leadership. Uh, my principal, Mr. Merrick, pushes me every day to be a better teacher and a stronger leader and to always remember my why. One of my whys is to be a constant in my students' lives, if only but for 180 days. Thank my parents for always instilling in me the drive to work hard and to do my best, not to outdo anybody, but to make sure that I'm doing my best. And above all, I want to thank God for allowing me to have the passion for young children and helping me through each day. My passion for teaching our youngest scholars is to help them build a strong learning foundation. And I pray to fulfill my purpose. Through my educational experience, I have had amazing and positive educators. I remember my first educator was my kindergarten teacher, Ms. Sansine, and I just remember how she made me feel every day. And I want to give that to my students. She would always hug us, and she would wink her eyes. I got the hugs down, but I can't do the wink. But <laughs> it always made me feel so special, and I want to instill that in my students. My hope is to instill a love of learning in my students, and I believe that every child deserves a quality education, and I will continue to strive for excellence and my commitment to inspire and empower my students and their families and my school. And thank you all once again. Our next honoree is Ms. Jacqueline Bell, a pre-K teacher at Johnson Elementary, where Ms. Gynesia Johnson is the principal. She has a bachelor and master's degree in education with 19 years of experience in education. She says she focused on building strong relationships with her students, understanding their interests, and incorporating those into the curriculum. Her approach to teaching focuses on creating a positive and interactive classroom environment. 
She integrates technology, hands-on activities, and real-world applications to make learning relevant and engaging for her students. Ms. Johnson says Ms. Bell is a dedicated educator who works diligently to improve her teaching skills. She says Ms. Bell unending dedication is seen throughout the school community by everyone with whom she comes in contact. I am deeply honored and truly humbled to receive this award for an outstanding educator for Exmoor Jackson. First and foremost, I want to thank the incredible students who inspire me every day. Their curiosity and passion for learning are the reasons I do what I do. To my fellow educators and colleagues, thank you for your constant support. We grow and succeed together. And to my Johnson Elementary, it means Principal Johnson, Ms. A, I am grateful beyond words with this acknowledgement that you have showed me while working under your supervision. This award is not just a reflection of my work, but of the entire community of people who believe in the power of education. Together we are shaping the future. I'm also a product of Jackson Public School, Elementary School, Watkins, Junior High, Chestain, 601 Beasley Road, Callaway. <laughs> I would like to say thank you to my daughter who came. She been with me when I went back to school. She's like, Mama, wake up. 1159, you gotta submit. <laughs> So uh, again, thank you all so much. I'm so proud to be standing here. Again, thank you. Our last honoree for today is Ms. Tanya Fordenberry. A fifth grade science teacher at John Hopkins Elementary School where Ms. Jacinta's Burden is the principal. She has a Bachelor of Science degree and Master of Science degree in education with 30 years of experience, wow. She received the Jackson Chamber of Commerce Outstanding Metro Teacher in 2001 and Teacher of the Year in 2022. Her philosophy of education is quite simple, generating interest and curiosity about science and making sure that every scholar believes as she does, that they can and will learn. She is passionate about making sure that girls do not view science as an inaccessible or males only field. Ms. Burden says that Ms. Fortenberry's innovative teaching methods, coupled with her genuine passion for science, have made a profound impact on her students and the school community as a whole. Her classrooms are often abuzz, you can imagine, with excitement and discovery, a testament to her ability to turn complex topics into fun, manageable and memorable learning experience. Um, first, I would like to thank Ask for More Jackson and uh, the Community Foundation for Mississippi for providing this opportunity each year for the teachers in the city of Jackson to be recognized for their work. I'm very grateful and humbled to be one of the recipients of this award. When I first entered college, I didn't have to decide on a major. It was that God had already decided for me and who am I to argue with that? But if I'm being honest, 99% of what I've learned how to be a, a better teacher didn't come from my college classes. They came from the many outstanding teachers I've had the privilege of working with. One of whom is with me today, Ms. Jennifer Frank. Raise your hand, Ms. Frank. Ms. Jennifer Frank has been teaching for 38 years. So we've been, we've been teacher besties for a while. Uh, matter of fact, the children know her name and my name, the younger children do. They just know we're fifth grade teachers, so they get us mixed up all the time. They'll call me Miss Frank. Hey, how you doing? They call her Miss Fortenberry. One time, a child said, hi, Miss Frankenberry. I said, hi. <laughs> Miss uh, Yasantas Burton, my current principal, Miss Burton, uh, is easily the most dedicated and passionate administrator I've ever worked for in all of my 30 years of education. Under her leadership, we have no choice but do our best, so my school is full of outstanding teachers whether they want to be or not. Thank you, Ms. Burton, for picking me because I know you had a lot of options to choose from, and I will continue to strive to, meet and strive to meet your high expectations. I also owe thanks to my family who puts up with a lot from me, especially my husband, 
who's back there, who most importantly does most of the cooking every night while I do school things, grade papers, plan lessons, and my favorite hobby, laminating things and cutting them out. <laughs> and he also generously looks the other way when things mysteriously vanish from our house and end up at school. And none of us would be here without the scholars in our classes. If I could have, I would have brought the whole class. They asked if they could be my plus one. <laughs> Um, I'm constantly surprised, amused, and challenged by them, and I learn from them every day. I can't imagine doing anything else on a daily basis. Thank you all once again, and I look forward to returning to school today and trying my best to live up to the honor that has been given to me today. Yes. These are your 2024 Outstanding Educators. Stan, please give them another round of applause. 32 years of um, education experience, and um, I tell you, the older I get and the more experiences I have in this field, and my heart just remains so, so full and, and just overflowing. Um, with lots of love for um, the folks that we're recognizing and appreciating here, but many, many others uh, who sit in our, our classrooms and our schools and throughout our district, folks who um, day in and day out give of themselves in ways that many of us will never know. I don't think there's any way that we can truly thank them and recognize them and honor them. I don't think there's a way to truly do it, right? We can certainly do far better than we do as a system, as a community, as a society. Many people mention their families and, and the ways that they've had to step away from families and the time that they give on their off hours to try to pour into and prepare and, and ready themselves to give 110% to their babies. And so I want to say thank you to you. Um, I'm really, really blessed here that I've seen all of you in action. I know these people. I've seen many of them outside of their classrooms and leading in other ways. And so I'm so thankful that you're with us and doing the wonderful work that you're doing. And there is no question why Jackson Public Schools is continuing to improve. There's no question as to why that's happening. It's not because Superman sits in the superintendent office, because that's not true. It's because of these folks and others like them who do amazing work every daggone day. Every day. Thank you, Ask for More Jackson. Thank you to the Community Foundation. Thank you to the families of our educators, because we know that you too make huge sacrifices um, for our children and for our communities. Thank you for all that you're doing to prop up our educators and to our educators. Just keep on running. We, we know we're doing the right work. We know that there's more work to be done. We've seen the progress. We'll come back and celebrate that as we continue to have these wins stacking up here in Jackson. For these babies, for these communities, right here, who deserve the very best, and we aim to give them that. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. 